Our lesson today is lesson 4.2, making reasonable estimates for products. So you might be asking yourself, why do we need to know how to estimate uh, products reasonably? Well, this is just happens to be one of those skills that are going to help you um, become better at math, better at multiplication, and better at looking at your answers and then determine whether they are reasonable or not. So let's talk about the how. I have a problem for us to look at, and you're going to have several similar to these in class that you'll be working with partners on, but let's take a look at this one. Sally sleeps an average of eight hours per night. A cat can sleep an average of 18 hours per day. And I know my Y is missing there. About how many more hours does a cat sleep in one month than Sally? So let's think for a minute. We're going to round eight hours to 10, just to make life a little bit easier. And we're going to think about how many days are in most months. We either have 30 or 31, so we're going to round the number of days to 30. So we're going to do 10 times 30 for Sally. And then we're going to look at the cat. The cat is 18 hours per day. We're going to round that to 20. And then we're going to still stick with our 30 days for the month. So this is the cat. So then we're going to use our extended multiplication that we learned in the last couple of lessons and we're going to multiply. So when we look at our 10 times our 30, we're going to multiply our 1 times our 3 because that's our basic fact. And then we're going to add in 1, 2 zeros. And then we're going to do our 20 times our 30. Our basic fact is going to be our 2 times our 3, which is 6. We're going to add in our 2 zeros and we have 600. Now remember, we're trying to find how many more, which means we are going to subtract our answers to get how many more hours, roughly. So that means I'm going to take my 600 and subtract my 300. And of course, hopefully you can do that in your head, but that would be 300 more hours. So this is an example of one problem that you will be doing similar problems in class with partners and practicing some of these skills and what you're going to have to think about oftentimes they're going to ask you in a month or in a year so you're going to have to figure out okay how many days are in a month how many days are in a year and you're going to be able to need to use that information to help you when you write your equations and you estimate your answer. So if this doesn't make sense I would rewatch it again and kind of look at what I did, think about what I did, where I got my information and that should help you when you come to class. So in class we will Estimate the products of large numbers, and you're going to be working with larger numbers than I just showed you. You're going to use previous methods of estimation like front end, remember we did that a couple of chapters ago, close to and rounding to certain numbers. So remember, I told you those skills were not going to go away. We're going to continue to use them, so we are going to be looking at those again. And, of course, we're going to find the exact answer and determine if your answer is reasonable. So thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you.